Hey, Facebook Live family. Uh, high five. You'll see that I'm outside today. Uh, the My study is used by my one of my six foot tall grandsons and my office is used by one of my six foot tall grandsons. So today we're continuing on renewing our youth like an eagle's. Now, uh, remember when an eagle gets about 30 years old, they go through a midlife crisis and they, uh, they go through a process. Now, the process of renewing takes about 40 days, which is really interesting because uh, September 1st begins the 40 days of Teshuvah. So this is a great time to, to learn how to renew your strength and, and, and soar like an eagle. If you remember Jesus, uh, 40 days, he fasted on in the in the um, in the wilderness, and he was tempted of the devil. If you remember, Moses went up the mountain another a second set of forty days to repent for the sins of of the golden calf. He came he went up on a little one on the Hebrew calendar, and he came down on Yom Kippur, and he says that you are forgiven. And so those forty days in history are major. Those are major. Um, uh, it's a major 40 days. I know that uh, Perry Stone wrote a book on it. I, I believe it's called The Days of Teshuvah. It's in my it's in my study that I can't get to right now. Uh, but he talks about there is a special open window over heaven. Larry Huck just put on Facebook 40 days of, of shofar. He's going to give a 40-day devotion. So I believe the aligning of the calendar of a lull and September, leading up to the fall feast, leading up to Rosh Hashanah, the Feast of Trumpets, I believe that this is a critical time and you need to learn how to renew your strength. So what does the eagle, what does the first thing he does? An eagle, the first thing he does is he seeks cool stream to wash off the mud. He, he, you know, remember, he's not been soaring. He's been down there with the other birds, just, just walking on the ground like the other birds. He's, he's full of mud. He's, he's dirty. And our purpose in these 40 days is to set aside time for the Lord, your only hope. And his word cleanses you. There's only two washing agents in the Bible. One of them is the blood of Jesus. The other one is, is the washing of the water of the word. And when you set aside time for the Lord to wash you every single day for those 40 days uh, in, in his word, uh, it is going to renew your strength. Uh, number two, his talents. You know, he's used to picking up things and, and they're, um, they're not sharp anymore. And so what he does, he scratches his talons on a rock until they're sharp. He scratches until it's like filing your nails or filing or, or, or sharpening a, a, a blade or something. One of the things that, that we can do to renew our strength like this is self-denial, fasting. Purpose to set things of the world aside for this season. Um, the next thing he does, and the bird, eagle does, is he hits his beak on a rock to break the calcium buildup. Now this is interesting. He hits he, his his beak is full of calcium, and he can't breathe on his feathers, so his feathers are dirty. And so, uh, you remember yesterday I talked about preening. An eagle preens his feathers every day. He has up to like seven thousand feathers, and so every day, um, and uh, and all of a sudden his his his. Uh, his beak, it's, it's hard to do it anymore. So he breaks all that calcium buildup. He hits a rock. And what what is this to us, the, us, the eagles? Purpose to set your mouth to speak the word and refuse to speak negative. How about that? Refuse to speak negative for 40 days. That's a challenge for some of people. Now, uh, this is the last one I'm going to do today. He pulls out old feathers one by one. Now, I have in my notes here to, to turn in my book to page 76. So if anybody has 76, you can go to it. I will let you know I am, since I'm not going to reprint these books, I'm, I'm actually doing a website that's only for eagles and a blog site. And so here, uh, he tears out his feathers one by one. A full-grown eagle can have 7,000 feathers. He is not concerned with the pain process as he is with the end result. He plucks the dried and useless feathers from their wings one by one until they are bald. So what do we do? 
We forgive people that hurt you. I don't care how much they hurt you. I don't care the pain. You you pull out that bitterness, non-forgiveness, one by one. Now, this is where we're going to end tomorrow because my five minutes is up. Yesterday, I went seven minutes because, um, because I forgot to set the timer and I forgot where I was. And so uh, today, I'm going to a water park with my grandchildren. I hope you have a great day. God bless.